Morning team. Hi team. Hi team. Welcome to Welcome to Welcome to Welcome to Welcome to my new cycling vlog. My training vlog. The new cycling vlog. Up until now, I've been training as the typical time crunched cyclist. Training has had to fit in an around 40 hour work week and it really limits what type of training you can do. It can be a little bit of a struggle sometimes trying to fit it all in. But recently Katie and I have quit our jobs to free up time so we can do the things that we love. If I trained like a professional athlete, will I be as good as a professional athlete? Like 80% zone two for 20 hours plus a week. Now I'm looking to increase my training load doing zone two training to match that of a professional cyclist. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm 38 now. I'm not exactly gonna be a professional cyclist now, but how good could I be? Follow along on my journey as I increase my training load and see what my body is capable of. Because I'm intrigued to know if training like a pro can turn you into a pro. And we'll see what happens. Peace. We are off for one of my favorite workouts. Uh, three by 20 minute efforts on one of Katie and I's favorite climbs called Batilla. So we have arrived at the base of the climb. <laughs> we, uh, we stop at this little town called Kaimari. Um, it's right at the base um, to take off all of our excess clothes that we've worn because we've overdressed massively. <laughs> Um, so we are about to start our workout. So three climbs, just over 20 minutes each. Um, I'm gonna try and hold, I think 300 watts. And I think I'm gonna really struggle towards the end. So wish me luck. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of recording along the way. And then we'll do a little bit of chit chat in the cafe when we finished. So peace. About halfway now, managed to settle into about 305 quite well, so we have to see how this goes. I'm sure I'll feel it by the end. Peace. Okay, first one done. Wasn't too bad. I managed to hold 303 in the end. There's a little bit of a downhill section in the middle, so you tend to lose a little bit of power, but other than that, I think I was okay. Don't know how I'm gonna feel after the third one, but I think I might be able to hold three, three hundreds of them if I've got it in me. So I can just see Kitty coming now. Peace. That one was a bit harder. Um, 
kind of took me at ease just to get settled into the power that time. Um, but it kind of didn't get any worse. You know, once it had settled in and I was sort of like maybe a third of the way up, it was just really uncomfortable. I think I'm gonna struggle on this last one, but you know, I'll give it a go anyway. Um, Katie said she's only gonna do the two. Um, so I'm gonna make a move before she gets here. And then hopefully we're not wasting too much time. She's not gonna hang around for me. So I will catch you uh, after the third one. Wish me luck, peace. Well, I've, uh, I've recovered. I feel a bit more human. Um, that last one was tough. Yes. Um, fortunately, there was some uh, road work <laughs> towards the end and they stopped me going past. So I had to, I had to end the interval at about 21 minutes-ish. But I think I held the power. It all got, went into a bit of a daze towards the end. So I'm really tough with that. I, honestly, I just didn't think I was gonna be able to hold 300 watts on those last ones so i'm afraid i only managed two efforts today um i just had the deadest legs in the entire world <laughs> some days you just have it and some days you don't don't you i didn't it's been have a it a struggle yeah <laughs> i never not finish something as well so i'm gutted <laughs> so yeah we are uh, heading back now last ride yeah by cafe by cafe our favorite cafe oh it's amazing yeah we've actually seen quite a few pro cyclists here today as well yeah. haven't we yeah trek uae get the goats yeah i'll uh, do some <laughs> b-roll of the goats peace Like this? No. Other way. <laughs> 
Well, that's it, workout complete. Um, had something to eat. I feel like I've partially replenished some of the energy that's been burnt. Um, but we've got the old task of packing the bikes away. So do a little time lapse, show it all going away. Um, and then hopefully we'll have a little bit of time just to chill this evening. I'll catch up with you later. Peace. Well, I hope you enjoyed my first training vlog, cycling vlog, whichever it ends up being called in the end. Um, we're back safe and sound. Um, the flight wasn't too bad. Um, it's just hard traveling sometimes, isn't it? A bit stressful, a um, lot of time sort of moving around, standing around and everything, but we're back. Bikes are all built. Hey! Bikes are all, <laughs> bikes are all built again. Um, I'll add a little, little time lapse as uh, going over this. Here's Katie to come say hello. Um, so the next few weeks, I guess, and the rest of this vlog is going to very much be around um, how I'm going to be increasing the training load um, and what sort of effect it's having on me. Um, watch this space, see if I can handle it or if I just crumble and stop doing a vlog. Peace. <laughs>